Hi Johnson and Turing Group and welcome to Tuesday's Maths Lesson. So yesterday we were looking at the column method for addition. Today we're moving on to subtraction. So again we're going to go through the slides together and then you will have a task to try at home. Okay, so we're going to recap on column subtraction and we've been using this since we were in year three, but in year five we do it with some larger numbers. So let's start off with these two just to see what you can remember about column subtraction. So if you pause the video and have a go at these two problems and then um, come back to the video and I will show you the answers and we'll see what you guys can remember. Okay, so the answers are on screen for you now. Um, so the first one, 87 take away 32, was quite straightforward really. You didn't have to do any exchanging. So 7 take away 2 left you with 5 and 8 take away 3 left you with 5. Uh, the second problem, however, was more challenging and it involved exchanging. Um, so you had 264 take away 195. Um, so with the first column, the 1s column, you can't take away 5 from 4. So you need to exchange from the 10s column. So you can see there that the 6 has been replaced by 5 and the 1 that we've taken from it or the 10 that we've taken has been carried over um, to turn the 4 into 14 and 14 take away 5 would have left us with 9. Then we would have had 5 take away 9 which again we can't do so we would have had to exchange from the hundreds this time. So the 2 has been crossed out and replaced with 1 and that 100 has been carried into the 10s to make that into 15 and 15 take away 9 leaves us with 6 and then finally 1 take away 1 leaves us with 0. Okay so there's another one here to have a go at so remember if the number on top is smaller than the number below it you're going to need to carry over an exchange so have a go at this one and then we will look at the answer together. Okay, so the answer's on screen for you here. So five take away five, you should have started off with that one um, and that would leave you with zero. Eight take away four would leave you with four. Four take away five, you can't do it because four is smaller than five. So you would have had to look to the thousands column and you can see there we've crossed out the three, replaced it with two and carried that thousand over to the hundreds column, making that into 14 um, take away five, which left us with nine. And then two take away two left us with zero. So hopefully you got 940 for that one. Okay, there's another one on screen for you now to have a go at. So pause the video and see if you can remember what we've just done and apply it to this question. Okay, and the answer's on screen for you now. So again, um, quite a bit of exchanging here. So two take away one left you with one. 7 take away 9, you can't do it because 7 is less than 9. So you'd have to exchange from the 4, turn that into 3, carry the 1 over. Um, so you've got 17 take away 9, which left us with 8. Then we'd have 3 take away 5, which we can't do. So we need to exchange from the thousands column, turn that 9 into 8 and carry that 1 over to the hundreds. So that would be 13 take away 5, which left us with 8. And then eight take away two, which left us with six. So again, quite a lot of exchanging for that one. Okay, and there's one here that has not been laid out for you. So again, a bit more of a challenge for those of you that want one, um, showing us your place value knowledge. So can you have a go at 384 take away 29, um, making sure that those numbers go in the correct place value column. Okay, hopefully you laid it out like this. So the 9 should be in the 1s column and the 2 in the 10s column. Um, you can't do 4 take away 9, so you'd need to exchange from the 10s, um, turning that 8 into 7 and carrying the 1 to make that 14 take away 9, which left you with 5. 7 take away 2, which left you with 5. And 3 take away nothing, left you with 3. Okay, and then you've got some problems here on screen for you to have a go at today at home. Um, so give those a go by yourselves um, and uh, Miss Pearson's put on here if it's too small then feel free to write them out on a piece of paper um, so you've got enough room to do your exchanging um, and there's a few more questions on the other page as well and then the answers here on the screen um, so you might want to grab a red pen 
Um, the slides will be available on the class page, so um, you can load those up and, and mark them yourselves at home. Um, but I'll just quickly put them on screen again so you can pause the video if it's easier for you. OK, and I will see you again tomorrow for another maths video. Well done for your hard work today, guys, and I will see you then. Bye.